Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Free Flight Guy here, and today we're going to be talking about thermals in Flight Simulator. Now, I've already talked about a uh, glider winch towing, and uh, um, so what you want to do to be a be able to see thermals in Flight Simulator is go to Options, Settings, and Display, and in your weather you want to, you see this thermal visualization now natural will just be it'll like, it'll place some birds uh, flying around so you can see where thermals are a cinematic is where there's some big green blue spirals that go into the sky showing you how big the thermals are and um, where they are so let's turn that on and you can see already we've got some uh, spirals over there and in front of us actually so let's go ahead and launch There we go. So now we're up in the air, we want to trim the aircraft so that we don't need to add apply any pressure to the stick to maintain a a two roughly I believe where on so that dial is on the two and roughly uh, a seventy knots, so let's go a bit less to pick up speed. And let's turn the variometer on. Right now I'm trimming um so that Okay, there we go. So the variometer is what's gonna tell us um, if we're in a thermal or not, because um, usually thermals are big areas of uh, warm air that go up into the sky and carry the glider up. Um, now uh, that beeping sound will go cra start to go crazy when we um, when we enter the thermal. So um, I just want to. Um, show you how it goes. So it's going to be pretty smooth so far. Um, now as we enter the thermal you'll start noticing quite a bit of turbulence and this will be moving up and down and that's a good indication of um, when you know you're going to see it starting there and um, after the turbulence then the um, it will start there we go it's also useful to extend flaps so um, we can fly at a lower speed and gain height in thermal what you want to do as well is if you want to use it to gain quite a bit of altitude, you can turn inside thermal just um, by using the rudder more because 
you want the lift on the wings, um, more lift, instead of just turning like this, um, it's easier to t turn with the rudder and it will last a lot longer if you just, if you turn inside the thermal instead of, <laughs> um, instead of just flying through it. Also, you still want to make sure that your speed doesn't drop too low, so when you exit the thermal that you're not gonna just start diving towards the ground. So even though our pitch is, our nose is down, or in the middle, nearly, we are still uh, gaining altitude according to the variometer, and that is correct because um, because if I go into this view, you can see more in detail the the effects of flying in the film. But now that I've gone too slow, it will start dropping again, and maybe I need to turn as well. Oh yeah, I've. I came out of the thermal. That noise is a bit annoying. I'm, I'm going to turn it off just so um, it doesn't get too annoying. You can still see the um, the dial moving around. Okay, I've been flying in a thermal for quite a while now. <laughs> As you can see, we have gained a lot of altitude since we have started. So I'm going to fly for a bit longer in, in this direction. And so, yeah. And that's... Uh, oh no, that's, that's what I was going to say. Let's retract the flap. Still gaining an altitude.
Oh, you can't get away. <laughs> So now you're thinking, well, what does natural do? Well, as I said before, it displays birds, I believe, in the sky somewhere. Look, there's one right there. Oh, there so, using the common sense, fly towards the birds. Because, um, you know when you often see a bird circling in the sky? Um, they're using these thermals to gain altitude just like gliders are. Oh yeah, see, look, there's quite a few of them there. And see, we've got that turbulence again, you must be thinking, Oh look, I'm going into a thermal because I can see the turbulence. And now look, look at our climber. Oh, there's a bird right there. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to be um, hitting the birds. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you share the and like the video if you enjoy it and see you Mm-hmm.